but they're like, she's young, royal, has the weight of the world on her shoulders, and has a timeless quality to her. And I was like, oh, okay, timeless princess. Uh, UK-based fantasy was another thing. So I, I went in with an RP accent. Um, I trained with a friend of mine for the audition who I had done theater school with in London, and he was British, and I was like, hey, Chris, <laughs> come and can you help me like train this, uh, this script before I go in with it? And so I did that, and then I also just played with the register of my voice kind of for hours actually, and found the place that it was sitting for me that was comfortable enough that I could sustain it, um, but it didn't sound uh, gimmicky. It sounded like natural enough as well, because I wanted to make her sound sort of natural. Um, so she's quite airy, but she's also natural. Uh, yeah, I just, I played around with, with the specs, and that's what I came up with. And I don't have an easy time, like I can do really young, I can do baby, and then I can do maybe 12 years old, and then I can do like around that age, but I don't have like a huge range in that age that I do, because um, my voice is really quite low. So for me it was more of a stretch, and I had to train into it, which is why I don't pop do, it off. Do the Zelda voice. I, I never do. Also, NDAs. <laughs>